Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm going to be showing you three ways you can get snow globe wood. So uh, let's just get started. So the first method is to use an eyeball to lower the bridge. And then you can put your snow globe wood on the bridge and then you can get it back up. And that's pretty difficult to do, but I'm going to show it to you. So you'll need some sort of axe that you can afford losing. I'd recommend a rookery axe or a silver axe, but if you're going to get some end times wood, you could uh, use an end times axe. You also need an eyeball and three different vehicles. You want to park your cars like this where one car is next to the bridge with like the eyeball in it and the other two are lined up like uh, over here. Then you want to hop in the first car like this and take out a one by one blueprint in case you flip over. Now you just want to drive to the little sand island and wait for your health to regain. Once you have your health back you want to drive into the cave and onto the next sand platform and then wait until your health is fully regained. And make sure to drive carefully underwater or else you might just but yeah you want to continue and drive between these uh, pillars and then drive to the next uh, sand platform and then you can actually see the snow globe wood you don't need to fully regain health but you can just drive straight away you only need to take damage twice or something now you want to fill up your truck with snow globe wood but do not overfill your truck or else that could cause problems so here we can see I've filled my truck and it's just uh, the same way out as you came in. Once you're out of the cave, you want to jump out your vehicle and reset your character. Then you want to make your way back to the bridge and put the eyeball and lower the bridge. Then you want to drive your vehicle onto the bridge, jump out your vehicle, jump off the bridge before it's too late, hop in your other vehicle and drive to the sand platform. Once you're there, you can pick up your axe again and then wait for the bridge to be fully submerged. Once the bridge is fully submerged, you can try to uh, drive your car over towards the bridge. Uh, I, you can see that I got stuck on the edge uh, twice, so definitely don't do that. But yeah, you just want to drive your way over to the bridge and you want to do it carefully. If you actually take your time and you can kind of position your vehicle perfectly, but I just kind of, um, yeah, so that's not good. I think you can park your car where you can still breathe and still grab the wood and then you can just carefully put the wood down to the bridge you don't have to do like I did but yeah once you're down on the bridge you want to grab the wood that survived and put it in the truck that's there and if you really want you can go ahead and grab some end times wood but make sure to be quick because I did not make it and the bridge was already half up but no problem if you did make it to the bridge uh, you just want to drive your vehicle back and forth like this that way your wood and your truck won't glitch through the bridge and you won't die. So just make sure to drive like this um, back and forth the whole time that the bridge is moving up. But in case that you did not make it, there is this uh, hole over here. It's called the safari hole. You want to drop your wood down the safari hole very carefully. Because if you just get too close to the hole as you're carrying a piece of wood, you will get teleported. So make sure that you drop the wood in a way that it doesn't touch any of the walls. Because you will get teleported like I did right here. And that's not cool. Once you've dropped all your wood down the safari hole, you want to jump down yourself. Then you want to grab your wood and you want to throw it out the safari hole. You'll be located in the safari biome, so just grab a truck and drive there. From the bridge, it is just like to the left kind of. And there should all your wood be. Now you just want to grab all your wood and bring it back and sawmill it and boom, you've just successfully gotten both end times wood and snow glow wood. On to the next method. So for the next method, we're going to use long planks because yes, that is apparently possible. So you'd need four long planks and one of them needs to be like really, really long. It has to be able to reach from a very tall rock all the way down to the sand area thing. So uh, you just want to grab your long planks and then drive them over to this location. Then you want to grab the first long plank and then you want to uh, place it like this. And then you just want to carry up the next long plank and place it like this. And of course you just want to continue this. And with the next long plank, you want to position it over towards this rock and then down on the next rock like this. And then you want to be careful when walking over it. So the final long plank. So you just want to walk over your other long plank and then bring the final long plank over towards the sand area. Once you're there, you just want to position yourself like this and then kind of slowly maneuver it down 
This should be kind of difficult, but not impossible. And you can just drop it like this. Perfect. And it might fall, but that's fine. Then you need to position it a little bit more precise so that you can actually go up and down. It should want to fall over, but you can just correct it. Like this. And then you want to get a truck and then drive it uh, like you've done before to the sand area. Once you're there, you can pick up your axe again if you reset your character. And then you can just continue into the cave and get yellow wood. And I am only going to be demonstrating this with one piece of yellow wood because you need to carry each piece of yellow wood individually. Uh, and I don't want to do that, so um, yeah. Then you want to grab your piece of yellow wood and just walk it up the long planks. And just, you know, go back the way you came and you've already placed long planks. But make sure, I think the long planks will disappear after like 30 minutes to 40 minutes or something like that. If you don't click on them. So uh, make sure to be quick or go back and click on your long planks. Once you've walked back, you should have a lot of yellow wood, so that's nice. Let's move on to the next and final method. Okay, so the next method is to use a door bridge. So a while back, I did a tutorial on how to build a yellow wood door bridge, and you can actually still find it somewhere. I have a link to it in the description, or you can click right up here in the right corner. And the tutorial is a little bit old, and that's why I sound so weird, but it sure does still work. So you just want to follow the tutorial to build a snow globe wood door bridge. So you want to load your base in a specific area, which is the first area, and make sure to rotate it correctly so your door bridge is pointing towards the river. Then you want to grab a vehicle and drive it to the little sand area. Once your vehicle is there, you want to reset your character. Then go back to your base and lower your door bridge. Then you want to find an elm tree and make a long plank. It doesn't need to be that long, it just needs to be uh, kind of long. And then you want to go to the end of your door bridge with the long plank. Then you want to go to the edge with your long plank and kind of turn it to the left and then place it down from your door bridge to the sand island. Like this. And from there it's pretty straightforward. You just want to hop in your vehicle, go into the cave, grab some yellow wood and go back out. And same reason as before, I'm only doing this with one piece of wood because I'm not going to grind that much yellow wood. But yeah, once you have your piece of yellow wood, you just want to bring it up the door bridge. And then you want to bring it out and boom, now you have some more yellow wood. So if you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful, I would appreciate it if you liked the video. And subscribe for more Lumber Tycoon 2, Oaklands, and Refinery Caves content. And you can join my Discord server for funny boats, announcements, and just an awesome community to chat with. Anyways, uh, I will see you guys in the next video sometime, and uh, goodbye.